Okay, so this equipment, what is this? This is a small filtration device that we can use to uh, evaluate uh, the filtration performance of different kinds of solutions. Uh, so it's a fairly simple uh, piece of equipment. It's a uh, filtration chamber with a support for the filter cloth that you put on top here. And on top of this, we have a piston that is pushed in, down into the, to the solution and displaces the solution out through the filter and into our a, a collecting vessel. Um, so that's basically it. And uh, for this demonstration, we're going to use uh, calcium carbonate, uh, ordinary uh, garden quality, and uh, see if we can get some kind of filtration from it. Okay, so in which order do we do stuff here? Uh, first of all, we assemble everything. Uh, so to uh, to assemble this, we put in a uh, uh, filter cloth. You had some black thing there first. Yes, I'm going to put that in after the uh, uh, filter cloth. This okay. is a uh, a rubber ceiling that uh, makes sure that the liquid doesn't flow into places where it shouldn't flow. Ah, okay. <laughs> so that air, all liquid goes through the filter cloth and not passes by it. And that's uh, why it's a good thing to have a lab coat, for example, here. Because uh, <laughs> this is a very white solution that we will uh, use. And yeah. it sticks to the cloth. Yeah. And it, if you happen to put things together in the wrong way, it might squirt quite a long way away. Yes. We had an example of that when we test, did a test run. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So now I have assembled the filtration sh chamber uh, with the filter cloth. Uh, this then goes into uh, this device here with the piston on top, mm -hmm. like that. So and then the bottom here pushes up, and the liquid is displaced out here onto the scale where we can record the, the weight of how much we have displaced, and record the time at the same time. Okay, so you have a simple... It's a, it's a very simple way of uh, making sure that we can measure uh, flow basically. Uh, so I will put this together now, uh, put in a uh, solution, and uh, hit the start button. And uh, the, the pressure that the filtration is performed at is uh, set by the uh, air pressure regulator here at the back. And there's a factor here. So the, the air pressure times 2.67, I think it is. Mm-hmm. Uh, is the actual filtration pressure. So right now we are at, let's say, 1.9 bar or so. So filtration pressure is roughly right now 5 bars, 5, 500 kilopascals. So I'll put it together uh, uh, and start the filtration and we will see if we get a filtrate. Okay. So now we're going to fill in uh, the calcium carbonate solution up to uh, until uh, about half a centimeter below this part here, and as assemble the rest and start the experiment. So, okay. <coughs> calcium carbonate solution, very milky in consistency, almost like cream. Put everything in place. The hose where it's supposed to be. And Tear the, the scale. The back, right? And the thing that we forgot the last time we did this. <laughs> yeah. Uh, a little stop here at the back. And then uh, let's see if we can make this so that you actually and see something well. And then we have a scale there so we can measure. And... 
Start. Now it takes a couple of seconds to fill up the uh, the hose with liquid, but we will soon see liquid start flowing here. And a good thing is to actually note down when the first droplet comes, at what time. But only if you see the droplets, let's see. Yeah, there you have the droplets. And as you can see, these are not creamy white anymore. It's a clear liquid. Yeah. So now it's just a matter of waiting. Yeah, so we just let, let this run for a while. Okay, so that was the last droplets. So what do we do now? Yes, now we have all the data that we need. We can uh, stop the timer because we don't need that anymore. Mm. So what we should say here is you should note down uh, a few points in time how much uh, is on the scale and what time it is. Otherwise you don't get any data, right? That's correct. Yeah. Right now we use the uh, video and uh, to do all the noting for us, yeah. so to speak. Uh, so now we have our filtrate. And uh, I'm just moving this a bit. Yeah, because so, now we're preparing for the next uh, group to come to do the lab. So yes. Say. So uh, now it's basically just the cleanup left or you redo this at different pressures to get uh, the filtration characteristics at different filtration pressures. So uh, basically we release uh, the piston. Yeah, so you see that that goes down now there. And remove the little thing here in the back. Pull everything out. Remove the piston. And here's our filter cake. So uh, now we take it apart. Yeah. And please note uh, when you do this lab that liquid can pour out from the tube and wherever. Oops. Ah, and there we dropped the. Uh, <laughs> and there we dropped the filter cake. <laughs> so there you actually see the filter cake. <laughs> there's yeah. the filter cake. But we put it back in the other one, right? Yep. In the, the one there. And then we pour the liquid back there as well. And then we just go and clean this, this stuff. So <laughs> and this is the reason why yeah. you have protective clothing. Yeah. Hands and uh, the equipment you go and clean. Yes. And okay, then we're done. So, so that's it. That's it.